Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now this is a follow-up video to my previous video about the cyber security job market. And you know, a lot of people are feeling uncertain about their cyber security jobs because of AI. AI is already here. It's rewriting job descriptions, uh, eliminating, silently eliminating work that people used to do and creating new work that I feel a lot of people are not ready for. So if you're feeling uncertain about your cyber security job, I would say that's a good thing because that makes you like level up. That is the word. If you are too comfortable you will be just sitting there relaxed not knowing how much ai is changing the cyber security job market so in this video i want to talk about what are the jobs that ai will most definitely kill take away completely and what are the jobs that will explode because of ai so hopefully this will position you in a very good like a way as you enter 2026 what are the things you should be upskilling what are the things you should be uh, looking at so let's get started so like i said in this video why this video is important i and it's because of the questions i keep getting on linkedin on youtube that i want you to understand ai will never ever take away all the cyber security jobs okay that simply will never happen but it is going to take away the ones that are based on repetitive tasks outdated skill sets and low context work general work you know things which does not require like anal analytics or understanding or context and i'm going to talk about what what are those areas so what i'm talking about here the jobs that ai will sh will kill like or it will shrink by 70 or 90 percent so what are those jobs the first one it is like the tier one sock analyst and i'm here again i'm not talking about the guy who does analysis who does um, uh, who takes alerts and actually looks at them you know those like proper incident response people i'm talking about the guy who gets an alert he creates a ticket he emails somebody or calls somebody or whatever follows like a playbook like a robot and then just closes the ticket ai can triage these sort of alerts in milliseconds we already had automation with um, uh, with store platforms but this is the next level it can enrich events it can write summaries execute playbooks without needing sleep you most tier one sock analyst jobs are like repetitive rule based and pattern driven this is exactly what ai was built for okay so by 2027 to 2028 you will see this dip of tier one SOC jobs new SOC jobs will be there but they will be focusing on ai which i'm going to talk about so but i want you to understand that if you are in this job of a tier one SOC analyst and you're thinking i'll just keep on like you know responding to alerts and just following the playbooks whatever playbooks my manager has given me i'll just keep on following them without upskilling myself you are putting yourself in a very like risky position and i keep repeating this until people get mad at me but i'm going to keep repeating this so it uh, it compliance analyst you know again this is low level grc work uploading evidence uh creating spreadsheets checklists mapping controls you know nest csi you're just sitting there filling out spreadsheets writing audit notes all of this it can be and it is already being automated using grc engineering the world is simply becoming too fast for this sort of manual excel based silo based work the world will not like the new world ai driven world it does not need people who are taking off check boxes or filling out excel sheets those that world is rapidly going away that's why it's so important for you to upskill the third one is vulnerability analyst now again i'm not talking about people who do intelligent sort of vulnerability analysis or assessments i have done that job myself i know how tough it is i'm talking about the guy who runs Qualys, who runs Nessus and just copy paste the report, copy paste the screenshot, downloads the report, emails it off to the IT team. I'm not talking about that. Yeah, I'm talking about that guy specifically. So AI can already like scan, pass vulnerabilities, prioritize based on, based on exploitability, you know, map it to frameworks, executive reports, recommendations. The you still need a human to look at the report decide the strategy you know understand the context of the environment but the scanning and the report writing job that that will go away completely so again if your job is you get a list of ip addresses and you scan and you download the report and you email it to the it team okay please fix this please again you need to upskill yourself fast and lastly and this is i think this is the large variety of people uh cyber security generalist where you're you're just an IT security engineer. You just have shallow knowledge. You, you know a little bit of infrastructure, a little bit of AppSec, a little bit of GRC. You're a jack of all trade. You're doing surface level work. Okay. Whatever the manager wants you to do, you're doing. It's relying on memorization, following checklists. And, you know, just whatever you've memorized during the CISSP, you are just uh, rehashing that. AI, again, will take away a lot of the general level stuff. The low level stuff, AI will take away. 
and it's, it, it is like it can scale very, very fast. So if you don't have any specialization, if you're not like some guy who specializes in the cloud, specializes in pen testing, if you just have a surface level knowledge, that is again a dangerous position to be in. So these are the jobs. They are more, but I believe these are the ones which cover the vast variety of jobs and why you need to be very, very careful and upskill yourself fast. So that was like the bad news portion of the video. Not bad news, just being realistic based on my own understanding. So what are the jobs that will survive and actually thrive because of AI, because of this world that we're here? So first of all, the AI security engineer, which I predict will be the fastest growing security role for the next four to five years until it becomes saturated also. But this is where, th this is basically what cloud security used to be uh, six, seven years ago. You know, if you knew like just how rapidly cloud security engineers were being hired, then you know what I'm talking about. Companies will still need people who understand these sort of AI security risks, you know, model exploitation, memory poisoning, prompt injection, agentic tools being misused, model hallucinations. This is not optional. Every that company building with AI will need this sort of knowledge. So you need to upskill yourself, understand how these things happen. How can agentic tools get misused? How do models hallucinate? How do prompt injections happen? Like play around with it yourself. There are so many sandboxes available play around, understand how these things uh, work. The next one is the AI red team specialist. This is again, as we are moving from Gen AI to agentic AI to multi-agentic systems, uh, the attack surface is rapidly, rapidly increasing. CISOs are very, very worried about this. They want people who come in, who can tell them, hey, this is how you actually fix your uh, uh, agentic AI framework, how you actually fix your Gen AI application and how you actually uh, like basically uh, secure your AI system. This is going to become very, very lucrative. You you, know, you need to understand how autonomous agents get abused, multiple agents, how they fail, how to exploit tools, things like the MITRE Atlas framework. But this is going to be a very, very hot job as more and more agentic AI systems get implemented. The 30 is the cloud security architect, AI work. Cloud is not going anywhere. I know people keep saying, oh, cloud is going away. We're moving back to on-prem. That's complete bogus. If you know anything about the cloud industry, you know how fast it's still being adopted. But companies do not need more cloud operations, people, you know, like as because the cloud is becoming more and more intelligent, it, it, more and more things have become self-managed. But you still need people who know about architecture, governance, people who understand threat modeling, AI pipelines, you know, secure model hosting, uh, LLM isolation, architecture. Architecture is the name of the game that you you can look at it from a holistic perspective and not just that you've memorized name of services like, you know, um, Azure, uh, uh, Google Command Center, Azure Defender, Security Hub. They don't need more people like this. They need people who can look at the cloud from a holistic perspective. Uh, another one is the AI identity governance engineer. A lot of people from identity come to me and they say that they feel that identity is going to go away. It's not going to go away, but a lot of that job is already getting automated, right? As more and more automation comes in, if you're just following that old identity, like you get a request and you provision a user, all of that is getting automated already. But as agentic AI comes in, all of those like uh, agents, they need permissions, they need identities, they need roles. They are more and more privileged escalation paths, more machine to machine interactions. I am is the biggest blind spot in the AI era, the area where companies are not focusing on, I feel. And this field is again going to expert as companies become more and more mature. It won't happen immediately, but this is definitely going to mature. And of course, the GRC engineer, how can I forget uh, this thing which I've been talking about for quite some time, but low level GRC is definitely dying, but GRC engineering is becoming more and more popular companies want people who cannot just who they don't want people who just bring them like a pdf of a standard downloaded they want guy people who can translate this standard into actual controls automate them codify them integrate pci dss iso 2700 into their pipelines design automation and they can work with the engineering team speak their language this is why grc engineering is so powerful and this is why it's going to become more and more uh, uh, more and more popular as time goes on and lastly and this is a lot of times i feel this is something which people miss out on if you are what do you call if you have some years of experience under your belt and if you feel that you are a good enough communicator this is another field which is exploding very very fast i should know i mean i've been creating courses for the past like five years or so but 
there are so many people who are so confused about the amount of you know new information which is coming out ai every day it's a new revolution about ai it, first it was gen ai then it was you know agentic ai there are ai regulations ai social engineering ai red team all of this people need people who can actually un explain this to them in a very simple and easy to understand manner this is again if you are a if you like a if you can communicate if you can influence, if you can create content, this is another field which is going to explode. If you want to open your own company, just focused around these sort of things. This is another opportunity here because I don't want to just talk about corporate roles. This is another area where I feel people can definitely excel at and create your own very like nice niche. So this is my final thoughts on this matter. AI will kill like low context security work. Like I said, anything which is does not require a lot of human interaction, AI will definitely kill that shallow security knowledge. If you haven't specialized in anything, manual SOC task, outdated checklist based GRC, uh, generalist, anything you feel that general, it's low level, anybody can do this. This is something which you are at a danger of being replaced by AI. But and the, the, the good news is in the next five years, if you specialize, if you deep dive into AI risk, learn, learn cloud identity, cloud architecture, you build your own portfolio, you understand how automation AI works, think in terms of systems, not in terms of tools. And you focus on the outcomes, you know, instead of saying I am doing this, you say I did this because of this 90% of the incidents went down. And you know, like think in terms of outcomes, what are the benefits you're bringing to the organization? This is where you want to focus on. So keep on, I'm not saying stop doing certifications and learning tools, please keep on doing that. But please have this in your mind also, if you really want to thrive in the new industry, which is coming out. Uh, um, I'm sorry, and I keep promoting this, but I do want to let you know, I have opened my own academy where I have put a lot of free resources and paid resources also. My courses, which are there on GRC engineering, threat modeling, agentic AI, I don't do certifications. I think there are a million courses already present on certifications. You don't need to know. You don't need a new uh, like uh, a course around that. But this is more around actual hands-on skills, actual hands-on concepts, actual things which will help you within the industry. So please check that out. I'll put the link below. Okay, I think that wraps it up. I hope this was useful to you. Thank you very much. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.